side mount because this one's broken. I'm gonna replace that. Just clean up the Intel egg tape manifold cover. I'm gonna have some pictures for you guys showing you guys what it looked like before. So when he leaves here, his car should be running smooth. Really, really smooth. His acceleration should be really smooth and everything, and it should pick up quickly. And I'm gonna adjust the throttle position sensor in the back too. I'm gonna adjust that because I'm pretty sure it has some slack in it. All right. All right, right now I'm working on um, customer's car. Um, basically what I did was I just placed the engine mount, uh, intake boot. This was ripped. So it was letting in hot air for a while. Um, air filter. Uh, did the intake manifold cleaning and the inside of the intake manifold. I'll post pictures of that. Did do custom headlights on his. Right over. Okay. Um, now I'm in the back doing this. Uh, I know I haven't been making no videos or whatever, but you know, I've been really busy doing a whole bunch of customers' cars and things. So basically, uh, this is a throttle cable here. Look how much slack that this has in it. Look. And it's a six speed. This, this shit is supposed to move. Like, move, move. And this is what's stopping it from moving. Is this throttle cable being so slack? It's really slack. So that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe some nice jam nut here. Yeah. I'm gonna get like baby amount of slack. This is a six speed. So it does have this and a 6B. Yeah, let me just pop these out. This just pushes out and pops up. And it's all right. Okay. So that's what I did was I popped these out to get a little slack. Um, to get extra slack in order to get this tighter. As you can see, this is a lot better than it was before. But... I'm gonna adjust it a little more because the cable over time it you know it stretches. So you don't want it too tight or the, the idle will be too high. This seems good. Let me just slack as it should have nothing crazy way better than before so when you hit the gas there'll be immediate response Okay, right now I'm in the process of doing a TPS, the TPS check. That's, I already cleaned the throttle body. It says Honda software will confirm that the throttle position learning value is in proper limit. Do you wish to continue? Yes. So right now it's establishing a connection with the vehicle. And basically what it is, is that it, erases the memory for the throttle position where the throttle plate open and closes it erases that information so the computer will remap itself to uh better idle and everything since i cleaned the throttle body and everything so you do the tp learning value has been cleared so i cleared it uh if the idle speed is crazy then you know you do the idle relearn procedure so since that's the Excuse me. Uh, since that's done, um, now it should be good to go. Now I'm gonna start the car. Um, yeah, let me press escape. 
Yes. Escape. So it's exiting communication with the call. Okay. All right. So now I'm gonna unplug the OBD2. Turn the car on. And he did purchase one of my keys. Cut it and program it for him. So he's good to go. He bought two actually. Good job. All right. So put the key in ignition. Uh, put everything back here under the hood that I took out. Put everything back. This is all set. So now all I do is just push this back in. So this has been adjusted. I'm gonna put that back in. All right. So after pushing and pushing and pushing, it snapped in. Um, take all this out. Put this cover back. Okay. Put this other cover back. Put this back here. Stick out because the tape supports are bad. We're going to replace them though. If it gets a chance. So then now, after the throttle body cleaning and the idle, uh, yeah, between cleaning the throttle body and everything and all of that. And the intake manifold and everything, so now I'm gonna start it. Six feet. See how quiet it is, and this is this is from a cold start. Hear that? This motor is running perfectly right now. Perfectly. Perfectly. Super quiet on a cold startup. And this is the way a car should run. And the throttle cable is adjusted and everything. And the gas pedal, so he's gonna have a fun drive home today with this 6 v Because he was losing a lot of power because this intake boot was ripped here. And then the air filter was really dirty. The cabin filter was packed with dirt. Um, let me see if I can send, show you guys a picture. So his air filter wasn't that bad, but the bottom was really, really dirty. His air boot, this is his air boot right here. It was like ripped, as you guys can see here. Um, somebody else's this was his engine mount on the side that I replaced it was in actual pieces when I took it out so that's gonna make a huge difference also and then I think this was yep this was his cabin filter it got really really dirty throughout the years the time he had the car but now you should get good airflow and the air should be fresh and clean inside the cabin Car sounds amazing. Starts up well. Sounds great. It's always good to have a good TL that comes in, starts up, and the engine sounds um, good. Motor sounds strong. I'll show you guys the paint already demonized that I did. Check that out. And he got the LED strip for the side too. This shit is looking clean. So this shit is looking real clean. It's a close up. Close up on the other one. 
Thumbs up. Looks great. Up um for the people that go to the mechanic shops and get their cars worked on, and then they get the car back for their Acura, and then uh or they Honda, and the traction control light is on like that, is on, and uh, supposedly the shop had uh. All right, so I got it to the settings, service, SAS, Acura. It's gonna reprogram this button here. System selection, USA. For some reason, in 2004, for some reason, it doesn't pick up their uh, VIN number. So I have to type in the VIN. So the VIN should be saved in here. So I'm just gonna find the VIN and then just uh, do it. So you go to ABS, TCS. So the VIN is probably already in there. This is where I probably went just straight through. So now I'm going to the ABS system in order to reprogram that. And notice, so the button will work again after erasing codes. See? After replacing the VSA control of sensor cluster through the neutral memorization, so the brake pressure sensor, the steering wheel angle sensor, and lateral G sensor. So you just reset it on here and then do the, the unit. Okay, so test conditions, except for the VSA control, you the engine is stopped, okay. And start the memorization process. It's executing, the light's blinking, turned off. Operation has been successful. Turn the ignition switch off. That's what I'm doing now, just turned it off. It says turn the ignition switch on. So that's what I just did, turned it on. That's it. So now I wanna hit the button. It'll turn it on and off now. It's that simple.